bringing it up. That's not too bad. Okay. Let's, uh, get that down there. So you can hear me. Alrighty. So, what do we need to do? We need to grab this body. And we've got that body. We need to get in there and drill those holes. I've got the drill bit too. I've got black hardware. It's got Mr. Glynn's cruel mistress vintage tele pickups, brass saddles, bone nut. Uh, it's all good. Where are we at? What's going on? Thank you for the follow. Good to see you. Welcome on in. Oh! Okay, so that's that guy there. But that's that's to show you that copper looking um, red cedar when it when it really gets polished up, it, it really really looks copperish. Can That back's going to be sensational. It's so smooth. Very good. Ha! Absolutely! They are drums. They're percussion instruments as well as string instruments. They can be used. If you sit, if you watch the old flamenco guys playing, the old Spanish guys, they're doing all that stuff. They're going... So, uh, it's all good. Very good. Um, I think we need to get a good... Right, here we go. There's the back. Bring it up. That's not too bad. Okay. Let's, uh, get that down there. So you can hear me. Alrighty. So, what do we need to do? We need to grab this body. And we've got that body. We need to get in there and drill those holes. I've got the drill bit too. I've got black hardware. And it's got Mr. Glynn's cruel mistress vintage. Tele pickups, brass saddles, bone nut, uh, it's all good. Where are we at? What's going on? Thank you for the follow. Good to see you. Welcome on in. Welcome on in, guys and girls. Welcome to the show. Manny here from the Guitar Show in Sydney. Monday, raining, wet outside. What better place to be than inside? We're in the workshop. We've got this guy ready to go we've got the bridge in there we're going to put some string ferrule through the back there we're going to take um, that bridge off in a minute and drill some holes through the body to allow the strings to be fed through from the back i've tested the pickups they all work um they knock the knock test works so they're all active the body's nice and uh finished now uh, we've got the covers on there we've got the little battery guy in there like so you can see that little battery in there the nine volt battery Close that guy up. So she's pretty much ready to have the neck put on there. But before we do that, we've got to do some work on the, on this guy. I'll show you the neck. We've got three coats of oil on there, and we've burnished that up so it's got a nice satin sheen. That neck's pretty much finished now. And you can see that guy. Ready to go. We've just got to put the nut in there and put those tuners in there as well today. So first things first, I'm going to put the body away. I'm going to put those tuners in because I want to get those in, uh, and I like to just. Ease my way into it. How are we all going? Dana's in the house. Dana, what's going on? I'm glad you like the intro video. It is a funny one. My son Gio put that together with his little uh, media skills that he has. Um, he does that for for a living. He's hoping to do that for a living soon. But um, he's done a couple of little freelance jobs, and uh, he's he does a pretty good job. Who else have we got? Terry's in here. Pretty absolutely. Mav's in the house, and Willie's here as well. And they're all starting to pile in, which is good. And uh, Karen Day with a big shout out. Thank you very much earlier on. Everybody check out Karen Day. Can we have a big shout out for Karen Day? Thank you, Terry. Okay. Let's get on with it. I'll get those tuners out and see what we've got. Uh, of course, to keep in the theme of the Cosmic Black, we've got the Cosmic Black tuners. We're going to flip over to the bench now and we're going to have a good look at those. We're in the home straight now, guys and girls. 
the home stretch. There she is, looking good. There's the back, looking good. I've got a screw missing there. I've ordered some more. I've run out of black screws. I've got the others to put in there. Uh, that one's screwed down. We're all good to go. Ferrules are in there, ready for the screws. We've just got to pull this bridge off first uh, and check where I've marked the holes. We've got to drill through there to the other side and then obviously knock some ferrules in there where string guides to get the strings through the body and uh, out the front. But before we do that, I'm going to put this guy over here and I'm going to grab this neck. Grab it by the throat. And we're going to, I've already pre-tested and reamed out these, these uh, holes here. We're going to get those tuners out. So there it is. That's got three coats on it, and I've given it a, a little light burnish, so you can see that satin finish. That's how I want it. It's very, very smooth. It's uh, it's looking good. Everything is uh, as it should be. Shiny little neck that we polished up the other day. We'll grab these little guys, our little go-tos. The weekend update. Hang on. First of all, how was Geo's game? Okay, the weekend update. Geo's game was very good. It was better than last week. They went down 2-1 in the dying minutes. The opposition scored a goal. Um, Geo set up another goal, so he's got three assists this year so far. So he's he's topping the stats in the assists. It was a long-range free kick. I will post the video clip of it, about 30 or 40 seconds, because it was televised. So I'll post the, um, the video clip of his goal. Well, not his goal, but his uh, assist. Basically took a free kick, kicked it from about 40 yards out. The keeper got jammed up against it. It was going to go dipping into the goal, and the keeper got jammed up against the crossbar. It knocked out of his hands. He couldn't take it cleanly, and the other guy cleaned it up and put it away. So that got us back to a one-all draw. And with three minutes to go, the opposition scored a very, very disappointing soft goal to make it 2-1. But that's okay. They're coming good. They're better than last week. They'll be better this week, and I feel a win is coming on. There's the update for the weekend, Terry. Proud Papa moment. Yeah, well, you know, I'm always proud of him. He doesn't have to do anything for me to be proud of him. I've, he's done enough. He's proved he's... Uh, and I'll always be proud of him. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get these little guys out. I will pop that little video into the Discord channel. So um, you'll get to see if you want to, if you guys want to catch up and see him uh, do something. You get to see what he did the last couple of games. I've put both the assists in there so you can have a look. Both from the first game and the third one. You can look at that. There's video clips. I'll actually put the link in. If you guys ever want to watch him play, um, you can watch the highlights. You can watch the mini match. You can watch the full replay. You can watch just the, go the goals and the highlights. So I will send, share a link with you guys. And... Um, I'll give you those, that information later on in the Discord because there's a little bit of detail. You've got to go to a website, then you've got to pick the right sport uh, uh, conference that he's in, and then you'll be able to watch his game. Okay. You may even be able to hear me yelling from the grandstand. No, you won't be able to hear me. What a load of rubbish that is. Okay, we're going to pop these guys in, and we're going to just fix them in and mark out where those mounting screws need go. So let's get these guys testing for size. I have ringed them out. They're really they're good to go. They're a, a tight fit. But it's a snug fit, but they're good to go. And we'll square those up in a minute. I'm just going to pop them in place first. Are there any height resistors? No, there aren't. Give you the answer to that. Sometimes they're staggered. The top ones here closer to the neck are sometimes have a longer shaft than the ones out here because the neck breaks a lot <coughs> aggressively so it needs to grab onto the metal spindle so it has a longer shaft. That one's a bit tight. I'll just have to ring I think I might just pop these up a little bit with the uh, little round baby guy. Ha! Talk up my kids. Mate, you couldn't make me talk up my kids. They get as good as they give. So 
if they do well, it's called, we live in a meritocracy in this household. So they get the merit where it's warranted and they get the criticism where it's warranted as well. Keeps them grounded, lets them know that nothing is easy and nothing is ever uh, good all the time. You're going to have some ups and downs. You've got to learn how to handle both. The problem with kids these days, and this is going to be sort of probably stepping into a rant and I should keep it for the rant stream with Hank, but Terry, do you agree? Um, a lot of problems these days is the kids aren't prepared because they're being told that everything's fine and they're wonderful even when they're not. Now, I'm not saying the kids aren't wonderful. They are wonderful, but they need to understand what that means, what that looks like. You don't just claim to be wonderful and great and everything's fine if someone just tells you it is. You've got to go through the motions. Anyway, we'll save the rant for the rant stream. We can always use rant. Of course we can. Getting a little bit better now. A God rant. We can rant about God too if you like, Dana. I don't want to upset the big guy upstairs though. <laughs> this one's a little bit on the tight side. Do all of them. should be. <clears throat> That's nice. Nope, not in here. We're on the home stretch guys. We've got to cut a nut for this guy. We've got to polish that. That means Terry has to be on, on her uh, game with the grits again. Something she likes to do. Here's a really funny one. A bit tight. Yeah. A bit tight too. They're tighter than they look. The first one's fine, but these are all tight. I'll give that a bit more of a working out. I know what you meant. <laughs> I know what you meant, Dana. I'm just kidding. You know me. I'm always joking around. Any excuse for a good giggle? Any excuse for a good giggle or a bad giggle as well? Okay, let's try these guys. What on earth? This guy's having giggly stuff, and I'm just been reading that. Being a good fit. This guy on the other side. Where does he end? This guy here. Let's try one more time for the dummy. Okay, that's better. Still tight, but it's in there. I must say, this colour looks really good with this walnut. It matches really well. That smoky uh, cosmic grey 
with this walnutty sort of color, this coach wood color is really nice. It's subtle, but it's uh, it's quite smart. Very slick. It's looking slick. He likes things to look slick. Let's line these guys up. Okay. And uh, I'll grab a straight edge on there. Just uh, lining those up, there's slight, there's a little bit of a stagger and I want to straighten those out. So it's just a matter of elongating those holes slightly and just repositioning those. Better, and line them right up so that they're perfectly square. Gotcha. Where we want you. Okay, let's straight. This one's got to move slightly up higher. There we go. Nice. Now we're lined up and we're looking good. Get those guys all figured out. Leveled out. Dot time. Let's pop some dots in there. I'll use the little spiky spike and just mark those out. So, take those out now. Pop those pilot holes in there.
on its own. More. Done. Okay. Now we can fix these guys in. So let's pop these guys in. Screw guys. Alrighty then. It's good. Let's go up here. in the bleachers. Let's go move. Let's go pay these kids on. Radio. Pretty good. Yep. Alrighty, we'll screw those guys in. Let me catch up with the chat. How are we all doing, guys and girls? Welcome to the stream. Manny's my name for those of you that haven't watched the show before. And if not, why not? DJ Rock and Rog, the eight ball says outlook not so good. Feels birthday man, whatever that is. Is Manny going to screw it up? Ha ha, very good pun on words there. Eventually I will. Shout out to Big DJ. Thank you, Terry. Excellent stuff. Everyone is in the house. It's good to have people in the house. Let's pop these guys in. Let's screw this guy down. So let me grab our little friend. Say hello to my little friend. guy here. Grab the right bit for this one, which is a little fillet bit. Uh, where is that little geezer? Here he is. Little baby guy. I always try and do them by hand um, to start with. Just a little bit delicate and I don't want to drive and slip and scratch any of the woodwork. This is pretty much going to be done hand by hand. It goes pretty much all the way through. So, because they're only about a quarter inch deep, so it's not too bad. Those pilot holes help a lot. It's just a little bit smaller, obviously, than the screw thickness, and that allows that screw to bite 
in there and it spread itself down. <sighs> did you get rid of channel points? I'm not sure what I did with channel points. I, I'm no longer an affiliate, so you probably don't have channel points. Um, the chats, is the chat different? Maybe because something else is handling the chat, the bot's different. I don't use much of the Twitch features anymore, DJ. I'm trying to multi-stream. I may, I may go back to Twitch only because I don't think I'm, I mean, I've got about 30 or 40, 30 odd followers on YouTube now, but the uptake's slow. Although, to be fair, I haven't really promoted it hard. I'm just focusing on getting the 24 hour build, which is a bit of a catch 22. I would have liked a bigger audience on YouTube. Facebook doesn't work at all. I mean, it works, but I don't get anyone from Facebook except George, my friend, and because he's on Facebook 24 seven. But, uh, <laughs> and he's probably out there now watching. George, big hi to you if you're out there watching. Thanks for watching. Um, but yeah, um, we'll see how we go. I'm not too far. You probably haven't lost them, Dana. They're probably still there. It's just the bot's different. I don't think that the Twitch bot is the one we're using at the moment. It's uh, Restream. And they don't have channel points. I'm more about functionality um, with multi-streaming at the moment. But we'll, we'll check in on that and suss that out for you. Seems to be a Twitch-only thing, channel points. Doesn't want to play with multitasking. I don't think. I'm not sure. What do I know? I'm just a guy that mucks around in the bowels of a workshop, in the bowels of the workshop. What would I know about streaming? Okay, there's our newbie whackers. Let's see if we can get our what's in your thingy bobs in there. If we can. No. No, we can't use this yet. got to cut this nut slot out, obviously. Woohoo, you still remember. It's like the lotto numbers, Terry. You never forget. You've got your six lotto numbers, you put them in every week, hoping to win the big the big prize. It's not like you're like it's not like you're gonna forget them. You're definitely not gonna forget them if you do win the big prize. Put it that way. You'll be clicking your heels all the way to down the yellow brick road. Like Dorothy with Toto in tow. Doesn't even matter, I never redeemed them. You probably had about four million points, Dana. Four billion points. Roger loves them. DJ Rock and Rog, he loves them. He also loves the eight ball. You know the only reason I turned the eight ball on is for Rog? The only reason I have the eight ball there is because Rog is in the house every now and then. And the first thing he does is have a good, deep and meaningful conversation with the eight ball. Lucky last. Okay, tuners are on. There they are. Wonderful, beautiful things, ready to go, ready to rock and roll. We got to cut that little guy out. We're not going to do that. Uh, 
we're going to do that now? What are we going to do? Uh, yeah, we may as well do the nut now. Uh, yeah, we'll do the nut now. Let's get let's get stuck into the nut. So I'm going to just double check the depth of this guy here. That needs to be cut. I'm going to grab my little saw. I'm just going to dip, get the depth of this guy down to where I need it, which is about halfway down. <clears throat> or so. About an eighth of an inch. So we've got the slot there already cut. We're just going to dip a bit deeper until we get to the right depth. Almost there. Okay, that's about it. This side. Okay, that's good. That's good to me. Okay. All right, we're good to go. And now we'll grab a little chisel and just snip away at that guy. Let's grab our chisel. Just a little twist, rock it up and down like that, clockwise and clockwise. Can you hear a crack? And you pretty much remove all the material and there's your slot. Easy as that. Bring out a couple of little rough edges. We'll get a file in there now and get that guy filed clean. As simple as that goes, guys and girls. Terry's going to get a coffee, a much needed caffeine break, an evening coffee, which is a lot like me. I like to have a coffee before I go to bed. Believe it or not, only because I can sleep. I can sleep with caffeine in my system. Uh, let's grab our little square file. It's around the same thickness as that. And we just want to smooth that out and make sure there's no rough. Really good. 
Kurang ini sih. Five in there. There it is. Just clean that out. There we go. Plus it's full now. Five in there. Okay, that's looking good. Nice and flat and nice and where? Good enough to try and get a nut in there. Let's grab some bone. Where's that bone? Let's have a look around. Let's see. Let's see what have we got here. Gotta find myself some bone, guys and girls. Gotta find myself some bone. Oh nut, oh nut, where is it? It's around. Let me find it. It's here. Just gotta find it. Bear with me, looking for it in a jiffy. What I prepared earlier. Bit on the thin side, I need to put the one. Bear with me, kids. We will find them. They're around. Hang about. And this is why they call me doofus. Because one minute I'm all over it, the next minute I've misplaced it all. Doofus.
Oh, there's a good fish. That's right there. I can think that might do it. A nice piece of bone. That's the right width, and it's definitely the right thickness. It's a very tight fit. Need to be actually defile that slot just slightly to get that to actually in. That would be perfect. We've got the marks already cut out there. There's some old slots there. Uh, we're going to need to just remeasure those and make sure they're all spot on a mundo. I think they are spot on a mundo. That's the technical word for it. That's got to obviously come down a lot. That's too deep there, so I've got to have to take a lot of that bottom off and drop that down where it needs to be. But what we need to do first is get that to fit in there. It's almost there. I just need to file this side out a little bit. should get it sitting in there nice and flat. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's tight, but it's uh, sitting in there. Let's just take a little bit more off. Now we're cooking. Plastic hammer, good to know that I found it again. Whoopsie daisy, sorry about that. Ow! That hurts. Sometimes you nail your finger. That's not a good thing. Almost there. I might just take a little bit of that off. With the grinder, with the sander, I'll just sand a little bit flatter. Barely touched it, barely touched it. Very, very fine. Rage is in the house. Rage, what's going on? George is here as well. George, welcome on in. So Didymus, what's going on? Gof's in the house too. Gof, what's going on? Congratulations, Gopher. I hear you have a new addition to the family. Congrats, my friend. That is awesome news. Little baby guy. Another little baby guy. Excellent. Yes, give that man a shout out. That's looking a lot better. Yeah, that's right down in there. I'll clamp that down once I glue that in. And we'll be good to go. So let's get that guy down in there. And let's get the height. It's still a little bit tight. I want to split this very, very brittle guy. Get that fit right. Once we get that fit right, we're good. Almost there. Get 
Ja. That's a good fit. All right, that's all the way in. Uh, this side, yep, all the way down. Okay, that's good. So let's just grab that guy. Like so. I think we have to just quickly give this a little bit of a curve. Bit of a curve. Very slight curve. I just ran the drill like that. Just taking a little bit of that flatness out of there because it is radius in there. So I want to make sure that it, there's no bumps pushing that up in the middle. Okay, and that's sitting nice as well. Okay. So all the way down, that's good. And it's not rocking at all, which is what we wanted. Okay, let's mark that guy up. We'll get our flat pencil. Where's our little flat guy? There he is, our little flat guy. Got a better one? Like our little flat guy. This guy. Got our profile. Pretty low, nice. Got a measure. So that's where we have to go down to and cut those slots. So I'm going to take some of this off and we're going to measure this guy out as well. So first things first, let's put our safety gear on. Terry, what does that mean? Masks, goggles, and everything else. For an old acoustic with wear and top of the front, it could be doing a sticky plaster repair. Would replacing the nut be better, please? Um, for an old acoustic with wear in the top slot of the nut, could we do a running sticker plaster repair or would replace the nut be better? Probably replacing the nut only because if it is plaster tape, um, you could try, if you're going to replace the nut, you could try using a little bit of thin CA glue and just flooding that, uh, flooding that cavity and getting that nut sitting in there, seeing if that does anything and cementing it in. I wouldn't use plaster tape. It'll probably get loose, dry up, lift a little bit. Um, you'd be best, the best way to do it is to get a new nut, not cut the slot, but clean the slot out. Maybe uh, look at uh, re-leveling that bed in the slot and getting a new nut in there and cutting it down the side. That would be the best, the, best, the best thing. You could plaster tape it. What you'll hear though, the intonation might be affected if it does bounce or vibrate too much and lift. And you might get some 
uh, some ringing sounds from the top end, uh, especially some of those open chords. You might get some ringing, so you you know pluck a string and it buzzes and rings like a high pitched uh, harmonic almost because it's vibrating. The the nut might be vibrating and actually lifting off the surface and creating a little bit of. So I would try definitely the best way to fix it is a new nut. Nothing nothing hurting you from trying the plaster tape because that's not too intrusive. You can remove it. Um, and then ultimately you probably need to replace the nut anyway. Safety first, guys. That's right. Let's put this on. I'm going to grind this guy down just to the right height. Then we're going to cut the slots. And Terry's going to read out the numbers because she already knows them in her head like her lotto numbers. Put this on the right way. I've got new cartridges, which I'll be changing soon, very soon, probably after today. Got the new 3M cartridges right here. Replace these ones, they're almost done. Okay. Bone nuts. Go and turn that guy down here. This will get us started. So let's put the connector away. Actually, no, let's not put the connector away. We need to we need to measure up the outside edges of the spring line, and then we're going to use our fret calculator, not our fret calculator, our nut slot calculator to work out where that's going to go. Let me put some of this stuff away in my pockets, in my top pockets. Spring line, we want to keep it about an eighth of an inch from the edge of the board. So, firstly, line this nut up where it's going to be. That's where the In between there, guys and girls, in between there is what we need. Four more individual dots. That's the big E, that's the fine E, or what do you call it, high E, and then we're going to have to put the E there at the B, at the E in there. So to do that, first we're going to mark these guys out. That's the base side. Let's uh, just double down on those lines. Okay, 
Have a little rule. Where is that little guy? Here he is. And we've got all those little markings on there, and they mean something. They're grouped so that we know we know how to stagger them. I better move my camera. There we go. Karen in the house. What's going on? Nice stream today, Karen. Great singing too, and good, beautiful beer coasters. That's what I'm going to call them. Yes, that's a good idea, Rage. Ziploc after it saves the filters. Absolutely. Rusty Rivets, are they in the house? They could be. They could be. Let's get down and dirty, as we say. There's the markings that I want. Pretty nice. That's the base end. No, that's the treble end. So let me switch that around. Hang on. Yep, that's the treble end there. So I'll line those guys up there, like so. Perfecto. And basically, we will mark out the rest. A. B. B. And there they are. And now, Terry, we're ready for the baby clamp, the little baby guy clamp, and your numbers. So let's get your numbers out. Let's, uh, for all those with vertigo, shut your eyes now. Terrible. I might just switch over, adjust this camera a little bit better. Just move this guy up here. Yeah. Guys, set up properly. What's going on here? Come on. Okay, we're there. Nice. Give that a crack. That's a bit better. Let's see what's going on. There we go. Clamp. Baby clamp. Nice. Terry, are you ready? You know, you've got to start reading out some numbers here.
base side, treble side. Get out our beautiful music nomad. Here they are. The first one is Terry. Ten. And off we go. Terry's on the ball. Someone's organized. There's our ten. We've got our low or sorry, our high instrument right there. Gonna put my glasses on so I don't miss a beat. One. Okay, if you go too far, about a sixteenth of an inch. Almost there. We're there. Okay, next. Seventeen. That one? We need to get the string sound going. Seventeen. Ten. What's that one? Seventeen. Thirteen. What am I saying? 13. Okay, 13 it is. Next, 17. Now we're on 17. Not 17, 13. Yes, we got it. We got it, Dana. Just in time. Don't get your knickers in a knot. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Next. Twenty-four. Janikas remain unknotted. Excellent. Spot on a Mundi. All righty then. Next. Thirty two. Twisted knickers. It's like a spin off band from Twisted Sister. Twisted knickers. Got 
got to allow for the thicker strings now. So I'm going a little bit to the right of the line to make it speed up all that wiggle escape. Good. Yeah, we're good there. Okay. More. Alrighty then. Lucky last. Forty two. Jawbreaker. Bone. Absolutely bone. Just like a broken jawbone. How you doing? Welcome on in. Lucky last. Okay, pretty much done. Alrighty, pretty much done. So guys, what we need to do now is polish this guy up, clean it up, a little bit of sandpaper, just a little bit of 240 grit, we'll get inside Let's put the nomads away for the time being. We're going to have to obviously check the height once the strings are put on there and just check any fine adjustments. But we're at the stage now where we're almost at assembly time. Almost, but we've got to polish this guy up first. So let's polish this guy up first. First things first, we need to just clear out those slots. Drag that through and make sure there's no rough bone or anything left, any debris left in the slot. Good. Okay, polishing time. Let's clean that up. Get that line off there. We'll check the height once we get the strings on there. That's close enough. We might do a fine little adjustment later, but that's okay. This bone now needs to be polished. Terry, what are we doing? We're grabbing our little polishing pads wherever those little guys are. And we start with 
1,500 rusty rivets. All the way from rusty rivets to magic magenta. Nut polishing time. Absolutely. Get those nuts out. Let's polish them. Ha! Huh. Okay. 1,500. Alrighty. Next. Camera angle. That's a bit better. There we go. Green. Okay. Eighteen hundred green. Next. Twenty four hundred charcoal for death. I can't believe you got a command for each grid. That is hilarious. I guess it saves you typing it all out, right, Terry? Poor old Tez. Having to type it out. By the way, that painting you did of the the bridge over the stream was really, really good. I think you are almost at stream time. You know it, I know it, we all know it. You're the female version of Bob. No streaming. Okay, no worries. I won't I won't make an issue of it yet anymore. No longer an issue. We stop talking about streaming. Run those little corners over like that. Make those little corners to be just rounded. Okay, next. Thirty-two hundred baby poo tan. Face it, poor old Whalen. Where is he? Van Whalen, is he around? Is he in a tree? Probably. He's asleep. Ah, oh, the poor guy. He's asleep in a tree. Ah. Starting to get some shine there. Can you see the shine? 
probably not. If I can get it to focus. Aha, there we go. We're getting some time. Still got a way to go. Pretty good though. Okay, what's next? 3600, Terry's favorite. A big glass of Bordeaux. Big rich glass of chocolatey goodness. Wine red. A big fat bowl full of wine. Looking good. Next. 4,000 teal for lease. 4,000 teal. Where's that green one? Here it is. Looking good. Starting to shine up. Starting to shine up. Next. <clears throat> Purple for Dana. You won't forget it this time. There it is. 6,000. Grit. Now we're shining like a diamond, or oh, not really, like a shiny bone. A little bit of shine there, you can see that reflection. Okay, cool. Next, blue, 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 blue. Forty pounds of cheese to make the sausage. Eighty pounds of deer meat. That's awesome. That's totally keto, fat and protein. Ah, oh, I wish I was there eating it all up. If I was there, I'd help you make those sausages. And then I'd eat most of them. That's awesome. It's a shit ton of cheese, I agree. Okay, blue's done. Look at that beauty. What's lit? What's next, Terry? Are we finished yet? We are. Twelve K, the magic magenta. That's the lucky last. Let's get that guy shining. Don't forget, guys and girls, 25th of March, Australian Eastern Savings, <laughs> Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time, 12 p.m., 25th of March, which is your 24th if you're in America. 24-hour build for the Children's Hospital. There it is. She's nice and shiny. We're all done. Probably see. Look at that shine. Look at that beautiful glimmer of porcelain, beautiful bone, all done and ready to go on the net. Now, 
we need to get that body, we need to get this neck on. So let's do that, right? Before we put this guy in. Um, I will prepare that right away. Make some room up here. Remove this one up higher, like so. Leave the nut there. Get rid of this junk. Get rid of this junk. Clear the table. Make sure there's no sticky bad bits that could scratch our finish. Grab our rubber mat. Let's grab our guitar body for those that haven't seen it. Here it is. There's our pearl, as I call it, gunshot, gunshot pearl. And um, finish. There's the back of that guy. We've got the battery in the pack. Okay, that's ready to go. We've tested the pickups, they work. There's the cat's eye. Output jack, there's our guy there. We're going to put a center line down here. We're going to get this neck in, and then we're going to probably, we're not going to string it up. We've actually got to, actually, no, before I put the neck on, let's take the bridge off. Let's get these holes drilled. We've got to get those, those, those holes drilled through the body. So let me untap this. I've marked where the holes are meant to be. More drilling. Terry, we still haven't done your favorite, that guy. So bear with me. We'll get there. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Active pickups, yes. Nathan, what's going on? These are bone breakers, Kirk Hammett signature bone breakers from EMG. That's what the client requested. That's what he's getting in this neoclassical N6 model, which is based on a Jazzmaster with a bit of a Les Paul twist on it. In other words, the horn is more of an LP shape, and this back end here is extended, as is this shoulder out. That way, so it's our it's our own custom shape. Give you guys a better look at that. For those that haven't seen that N6 or neoclassical, as I call it, there it is. There, it's that guy there. It's got about three coats of oil on it. It's a nice high satin finish. The back's got a couple of coats as well. Um, we have actually, I lied to you, Terry. That isn't flamed Queensland maple. It is flamed Tasmanian myrtle. M-Y-R-T-L-E, Myrtle. So that's what that top is. And that is mahogany with a cypress, sorry, with a red cedar uh, stain, just a light stain to get a bit more redness in there, a bit more richness and bring out some of that ribbon grain. Okay, so uh, the fretboard is not rosewood. The fretboard, my friend, is ebony. It's a blonde streaked ebony. Okay, so it's a, uh, a blonde streaked ebony. Lots of color there, lots of variation. It's beautiful. I love it. I, I prefer that to black ebony for some reason. I think black ebony is a traditional look, but I like the mixture. I like mixing it up. It's uh, it's uh, it's something unique, something beautiful. And they're all different and all unique. You never get two of the same, so it's always interesting. The back is lovely. It is. It's warm, Dana. It just warms it up. Flame Tasmanian Myrtle. That's the one, Terry. Look it up. You'll find some beautiful samples in the photo gallery on Google. So um, look that guy up and uh, have a look at some of that beautiful stuff. This color is called translucent finish. You can see it's see-through. You can see the grain. Uh, it's a translucent pearl gun, uh, gunshot. So gunshot pearl is what I call it. It's like a gunmetal bluey gray with a pearl white finish through it to give it that luminescence. And a little bit of translucency because it's water based and we went pretty thin. Uh, and given that myrtle is a very bright, dark, well, not dark, but bright and and uh, lively red, it seem, seems to, that pinkiness seems to shine through. It's a funny combination, but it works really well, I think. This is the color that he wanted, something like this. So I came up with it for him. I'm doing these by hand because I know the drill is a little bit quick and it sometimes slips. I don't want to scratch. It's very highly polished, cosmic, 
chrome finish, the Cosmic Black finish. It's uh, it's pretty swish, pretty swish as they say, and we don't want to scratch it up with a, a bit flying off. So I'm just going taking my time and just getting these guys out by hand. It's a little bit safer. We're not in a rush. No one's rushing, isn't that right, Terry? Terry never rushes. Take your time. Grey Dog resub for 24 months. Thank you very much, Grey Dog. You are awesome. I might have to go back to the old uh, Twitter affiliate program. Um, but thank you for the support anyway. Remember, guys, we don't take any bits or pipe trains or prescription or uh, prescriptions, financial gain from it because we've switched over to multi stream. There are the six holes that I've marked out where the bridge holes are going. I'm going to just pop a little spike through those. Get them nice and even. And I'm going to drill right through the body. Just like so. They're nice and even. One line through there. So they're all spaced equally. We can drill those right through now. I'm going to use a this guy here, which is about an eighth of an inch. Sorry, yes, it is an eighth of an inch. And uh, we're going to go all the way through on the drill press. That is long enough to go all the way through. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to set up on the drill press. I probably won't take the camera in there. I just want to go through there. And uh, then we'll, we'll tap the... Uh, actually, no, I'll, I'll set the camera up in there. Why not? I may as well set the camera up in there. Get the spare cable. Run that long cable down. We'll go into the other room and we'll set up this camera in there so we can watch the drill press process. Bring it down to here. Here. Alrighty then. Let's go to the next room. Set that up. Let's switch that over. I'm in there. Bing! Let's uh, reset that. Camera, bench mic. We'll turn the bench mic on, like so. We'll get the camera going. Hang on one sec. Bench cam. Deactivate. Activate. Bing! There it is. Get a bit closer. Does that work? How does that work? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. The handle's good in the road, but that's all right. How's that look? 
That's a bit better. You can see what's going on now. Okay. Grey Dog, what is going on, brother? Thank you very much earlier on for that. The sound effect. Which one are we talking about? The whistling? I don't mind whistling. When I'm doing stuff, let's grab this body and this spongy thing. Let's go and cut these uh, holes out. Sure, I don't need the spongy thing. Actually, I will need the spongy thing. It's fine. Okay. So, can you guys hear me okay? Give me a yes if you can hear me okay in that other room. But that one. That's a good one. That's the spring. We like the spring. Okay, good. Thank you, Terry. Here I go. I'm in the other room. We will get this guy onto here. We will need to get rid of this guy here. So I will put this down here. Like that. Let's get rid of this old drill bit here. Uh, drill bit. That's this guy here. <clears throat> Tighten this baby up. Let's check the depth stop. All the way through, not far enough. Okay, that's going right through. Okay, that's what we want. There's a raid. I hear the raid siren. Okay, I'm in a bit of trouble here. Hmm. I'm in a little bit of trouble here, folks. Hold that there like that. Let me go and see who that raid is from. It's probably Karen Day or someone. No, Karen finished earlier on. Who we got? Ah, oh, Orby's in the house. How you doing, Orby? What's going on, brother? Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in, guys. I'm just drilling some holes through this guy. See how we end up. Just through, just through. Okay, that's good.
just lining these guys up. Yeah, we're good. Couple to go, or three to go, we're halfway there. Couple to go. Just a couple to go. Lucky last. Alrighty then, we've got the main holes drilled through, that's where the strings are going to come through, we've got to take that drill off and just pop those through the other side. Alrighty then, we've got those holes done, let's move over back to here, I'll move that camera again. Actually we won't, what I'm going to do is just clean those holes out a little bit.
Okay. Let's bring that. Uh, Here. Wind that up later, I'll just put this back on so we've got our chip together. Mm. A little bit of chip out there, so that'll fix that up. So we've got our holes drilled through there, they're out the back as well. We're going to now drill a bigger hole here to get some caps. I'm going to draw a line straight through the middle of that to straighten those up. And again on the drill press, we'll be able to get those lined up. So let's get the hammer sorted out. Okay, we're good there. Uh, I'm just going to turn that sound off. Okay, no echo now on my voice. So what we're doing here is we're just lining these are slightly out. They're slightly, let me just reset that. One sec. Workbench. Bench can. a line through these guys and just line those singles up and they're slightly out there's one that's completely out but what we're doing is we're putting in some quarter inch um, or actually nine millimeter nine millimeter guys through there and that'll that'll line everything up Basically, we're going to start at that end and we're going to end at that end. We're going to line up these black, black guys. Where are they? Let's go now. Little ferrules, wherever they are. Black ferrules, there we go. These guys here can fit in there and line this up. Like that. Right next to that one will be that one. The guy next to that one will be that one. And then over here will be this one. So once they're in, bingo, we have our spring ferrules going through there. So let's mark those out. Pretty much the center of that. Just like that. That's fine. These guys, I should be about eleven to twelve apart to come into the holes. That's eleven. That's eleven. That's eleven. That's eleven. That's eleven. Okay, they're spaced evenly. Okay, 
the size of these things. I think they're eight, eight point six. Probably need a nine mil drill bit. I'll just measure those with this guy here. Eight point three. So eight point five would be a good drill bit to use. down how far down I need to go down about a quarter inch or oh, maybe a bit longer uh, we're going down to let's go eight millimeters deep eight mil deep okay eight mil deep so, drill time. More drilling, Terry. Seven hours. That was a big stream, my friend. Almost as big as 24. Almost. Just saying. You've got to get in there, man. You'll build up slowly. You'll build up. You'll have seven, then 12, then 18, then 24, and then you'll be unstoppable. You'll be making 50 pickups a night, and you won't have any sleep. That's what we want. <laughs> okay. I'm going to measure and put a little bit of a tape mark on this guy. Gliding like that. Okay, so that's the whole idea, getting these guys hoarse off there. Good, right on the line, which is where we want it. And the other guy is right next to it, like so. Bang in the middle. Done. Got to clean those out. Put these guys in. I'll tap those down later with a little bit of glue. Got to keep 
one of those is crooked, so I'm going to fix that up. That's a little bit lower. I'm going to move that plate up. It's, it's pretty much it. We can string this up. So that's uh, that's those guys in there. Uh, neck time. Let's put this neck on. We'll get that bridge back on. And we'll get the Christ going up. We probably won't have time to string it up today, but I'll get this bridge on and we'll finish it off there. I'll neaten up those little ferrules. Get them through in here a bit better. And fix them in place. And then we'll be good to go. I'll just pop this back in. Up. Make sure those screws hold it straight. There we go. In. Bridge is in. All we're going to do now is put the neck on that guy and get that out. So we've got we've got this guy pretty much done. We've got this the back done now. So we're going to fit the strings through there. We're going to get that neck on tomorrow, and we will then finish this guy, finish it off. Almost there. We've got the nut cut. There's that lovely neck. We've got the slot ready there. We've got to put that, uh, this little guy in there like so. Okay, we're going to. Trim that guy down. It's pretty much the right height. We'll see how we go. Might need to take a little bit off the top, but we'll see how we go. We're going to get those slots are cut down to the right depth, I think. We're going to check the action tomorrow. We'll get that strung up tomorrow and we'll have a little look see at how it all lines up. Don't mention next to Dana. We still have to cut that hole in there. I'm not going to do it now, though. I wouldn't put you that. There's enough drilling for the day. Looking sweet. It's coming along, dude. I know that you would love this neck. It's a nice medium C. It's got a nice little bit of meat to it. Not too bad, though. You can get your fingers around that pretty easily. It's, uh, it's not too bad at all. No. Okay. 
little look see and see what's going on in the world of the Cheru. Going to check it out. Okay. Oh, we'll go back. Ah. Matt Burrows is on. Let's go to Matty B and listen to some shredding. He was very impressive the other day, let me tell you. He was extremely impressive the other day. He went nuts with his playing. He was very, very good. Thank you very much for uh, rating Orby. You are the best. Okay, bye. Please, Karen, don't be like that. No problems. Let's go to Matt Burroughs. I have to do it on my phone now because something's not working on my PC anymore. Send. Wonderful. That should work. Okay, thanks very much, Orby. Thank you very much, everyone. Terry, Karen, the whole gang, Leslie. Dana, the fourth thousand grit girl, everyone in the house. Grey Dog, thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate your support as always. And uh, thanks for the raid, brother from San Francisco area. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. Guys, um, Dell, thank you very much, dude. Love to you too. Guys, check out Maddie Burrows. I'm going to head off now. I'll be back in a couple of days. Till then, take it easy and bye for now.